Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today I will show you how to integrate Nexus with Jenkins. It is basically to store the artifact in Nexus. Nexus is one of the repository manager like JFrog if you used. So in our tutorial today, the architecture we will be using, it is we will be taking our code that is a Spring Boot web application code I have kept in my GitHub repository and we will build in Jenkins and after build we will push that artifact. Artifact is basically the build output which is or or here in your case and we will push that artifact into Nexus which is our repository manager or artifactory. So let's proceed. For this tutorial, we need few things as prerequisite. First thing is that you should have your Jenkins up and running. As you see that I have two virtual machine instances in my Google Cloud Platform. It doesn't matter which cloud platform you use. You can use Microsoft Azure or AWS or Google Cloud Platform. In this tutorial, I am using Google Cloud Platform, but it doesn't matter that which cloud platform or where you launch your virtual machines. So basically, I have two virtual machines. One is installed with Jenkins and Nexus is installed in the next virtual machine. So as you see, I have my Jenkins up and running. There are a few jobs already created. If you have watched my previous tutorial, you may have seen that how I created code build job, code quality, deploy to Tomcat and deploying you, deploying with Ansible. And here my Nexus repository manager is up and running. So in this tutorial today, especially I will show you how to integrate Nexus with Jenkins. So in Jenkins, our first task is that we have to install one plugin to integrate Nexus. To do that, let's go to Manage Jenkins. Click on Manage Plugin. Click on Available tag. Now search here Nexus. And you will find Nexus Artifact Uploader. Just click that and click on Installed Without Restart. It is installing the Artifact plugin. Success. Let's go back to our dashboard. Now it is the time to create a new job in Jenkins. So click on New Item. I'm giving a name for this job that's suppose store artifact. I'm creating it as freestyle project. Click OK. Just adding one description. It is a good practice. This job is to store artifact in Nexus. I'm clicking on Git because we will be taking the source code as I told you from Git. Now let me show you what is the source code because if you want to use that same source codes or Definitely you can use your own, but let me show you the source code where we have. I have my Git repository that is called github.com slash AWS tech guide. And within that, you will get one repository called Spring Web App. Click on that Spring Web App and copy the URL from here. So I have copied the URL, pasted it over here. We do not need to add any credential over here. Reason is it is a public repository in GitHub. So scroll down. 
here click on add build step so first thing we have to add is the nexus artifact uploader if you don't get this option it means that you have not installed that plugin so i am just clicking on that right now on the first parameter which is nexus version click on that and select nexus 3 protocol keep it http well now we have to provide the nexus url and our nexus url is here so just copy with your port number and paste it over here and delete this http reason is you have already protocol http mentioned over here now it is asking for the credential definitely if you have seen my past video how i installed nexus in a virtual machine we created one admin login as well so i have my credential so i have to create that credential and to do that click on add select jenkins well so it is asking for the username with password and username is my admin password is id i'm again pasting as okay it is id is just the identifier so i'm just adding as nexus and nexus just added it select over here now group id you have to add a group id as per your project configuration but over here i'm just adding it as aws take guide as group id version 1.0.0 snapshot because i'll be pushing the snapshot version and you have to mention the repository now to add this repository let's go to our nexus repository click on browse the left side panel browse and our repository will be this one the maven snapshots because when we will be pushing our uh, artifact from Jenkins, it will store our artifact here. So I'm just adding it here. Now artifacts it is asking, click on add. Here, give one artifact ID, that is our Spring web app. type is it is a word file and to know about the file name let's go to our previous build or the previous job so i i just need the file name because i forgot that what is going to be the file name so i'm just going to our previous build to get the file name from here The file name is actually this. The file name is waveapptest.web and that will be located under target folder. Well, now there is one more thing that add build step and invoke top level maven target click on that and bring that this build before nexus well selecting maven build and adding as a goal goal as package click apply click save Now click on build now. The build has started, click on the build number, go to console output, 
it has started the build Build is showing success and it seems that it has 100% uploaded the word file which is our artifact to our artifact repository. So let's go to our nexus and give a refresh. Perfect. As you see that we have our artifact stored inside Maven snapshot and here is our artifact so click on there and you will get this dot word spring web app and it is the version it is the word file we uploaded so as you see what we did in our configuration let's go to the configuration once more in store artifact job name that we provided git url that is a public github repository and added a simple maven build and after maven build we wanted to push that artifact to the nexus artifact repository and in nexus artifact repository if we go on the left side browse option then maven snapshot option and we see that our 1.0.0 hyphen snapshot version has been pushed successfully well so here is our word version and on the right side you see that all the details related to your newly created newly pushed artifact So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, please write in the comment box below. I'll be happy to help you. See you in our next session. Thank you.